Hello everyone and welcome to my Space Engineers tutorial on how to evenly distribute items using the conveyor system. Most of you are probably familiar with the following experience. You build several refineries on your platform station thing. You connect them all up with conveyor tubes and throw in some collectors. Then you slap on a connector to your mining ship, hopefully a better mining ship than this abomination that I threw together for testing. Then you turn on your connector and all your ore ends up in a single refinery. And it's not even the freaking closest refinery. What kind of voodoo is this crap? So today I will show you how to distribute the stuff evenly to all of these refineries and exactly our little bit of information on what is actually going on here. Let's shut this off and go over to a couple of things that I built for us. Here we are at our first example. This is with large connectors and collectors. You don't need this gap here. I'm just having it so that you can see the flow and ignore the stone that's laying there. I had gravity on, which makes that not work. So if we, this is a small car container with a bunch of stone in it. If we turn on those four connectors, you can see it'll be evenly distributing the items to our refineries. So 9.5k, 9.5k, 10.1, 10.5. Pretty much even. Probably hit some of the stuff in there and got sucked in. But that is one way to do it. Unfortunately, if you were to take that money chip, put a collector on top of this, and this, assuming this cargo container was empty, and then just try to run this at the same time, it would not work because the flow rates are not equal. Over here, we have a small ship design, and let's turn on gravity for this. This one, this gap here, if you're going to have the gap this far, you're going to need gravity. But we have a landing gear here, which is from the creating a new ship. Notice that it's right lined up with this yellow line, so that this is in the center. And we have conveyor tubes connected to a collector, another conveyor with four connectors around it. And a small reactor. This does require a tiny bit of power. A few uranium will keep this running for months, so that or you could also hook it up to solar panels either one would work fine i'm using uranium for this example above it you have a large connector and then we have a kind of offloading station i'm using small cargo containers here instead of conveyors because small cargo containers are cheaper and the connector doesn't really care which one it can pull out from either and it also allows me to have a bit of a buffer. Now the reason, like I said over there, is the flow rate is not equal. The flow rate of large connectors, they will take 100 liters of items rounded down to the nearest kilogram and output that every tick. The small connectors will take 15 liters of items rounded down to the nearest kilogram, outputted every tick. So we have here, we're outputting 100 liters, going into here, outputting 60 liters. And up here on our uh, mining ship, our crappy mining ship, we're outputting also 60 liters because there are four connectors here. That means that our input and our output are equal so that these can run at steady state. If you only had 
one connector or any number less than four you would need to have some kind of buffer here before you turned on this and had it output however if you had that buffer and then you turned on this this is going to be outputting faster than it's outputting down here so you're going to need a little bit of extra storage down here to help with that can do it that way I prefer to have perfectly steady state that doesn't require any kind of tampering or manual labor and the only manual labor this requires is filling this like once every few months over here if we were going to fill this from a mining ship directly we would need to have 400 liters of constant output which is quite a lot of those small connectors far more than is practical for any kind of mining ship but you could use it on say you had a grinder ship that would work better of course you're not going to be grinding stuff like that and assemblers work better at grinding stuff it's really just the ore that's going to be a problem so to reiterate small connectors 15 liters per tick large connectors 100 liters per tick if an item is bigger than 15 liters it will output a minimum of one item so say you're doing the large steel tubes it's going to only output one of those even though I think their size is 40 liters then input must equal output if you want if you don't want to have any kind of manual tempering or buffer system set up if input does not equal, if input is less than output you need some kind of buffering system so that is both of the designs the downside to both of these is that you're going to need another type of connection to connect all the refineries to your assemblers and all your refineries together if you want to move ore between them manually so you'll probably want to run something underneath them and connect them from the bottom over to a group of assemblers or to say maybe you want to have your stuff output into a chest or something another cargo container though that's unlikely since they can hold quite a lot that is all for this tutorial. I will be posting this world on the Steam Workshop so you can get a closer look at the various things. These ships have extra stone for you to play with and you can copy and paste. I think this is the one with a whole bunch of extra stone in it. Nope, that one's empty. Well, that one has some more. So you can copy and paste these ships to have some stone to play with. And remember that connectors work differently in creative mode than they do in survival mode. In creative mode, since the item cap volume limit does not matter at all, when you're running multiple connectors, what is going to happen is they're all going to grab all of the items in the system, or they're all going to try to grab all the items in the system. And they'll end up kind of playing hot potato with it, so you're not going to be outputting at the full rate and some of them may just flat out not work depending on how you have your system configured so always do your final testing for this kind of layout any kind of layout that uses multiple connectors always do your final testing in survival mode thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you're not comment if you have any questions I do read all of the comments and I will see you next time.